Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're over here on the Japanese side of the game, taking on Luffy in the Blitz event. So I have two teams in today's video. That was the first team. Those are the supports. Let's dive in. Now, this first team actually uses a full boosted team, and they are all free-to-play subs, including free-to-play support. So big shout-out to my boy Sky Steve in my alliance, in my Discord chat. Uh, he did put this team together, uh, and it works absolutely flawlessly. He did have different supports, but I did actually make it completely free-to-play friendly in terms of the supports and the subs. As long as you have Moria, you're pretty much good to go. You do want to bring a friend, Dofi, though. That way, you get access to the special bind removal, and you can just blow away stage 2 with his amazing super class, as well as getting the super class ability as well. Because we have um, Caesar on this team, we can get access to his super classing, which is great, and it is a full-driven powerhouse team. On stage 3, we come up against Frankie. Frankie's going to give us a full board unfavorable slots, and he, like, makes it hard to land on matching slots. But with Dofi as our captain, we can actually make strength, dex, and quick orbs matching for our driven units. And then thanks to the Kuja Pirates, we can get an orb on our Don Jin Jiao, and then we can take out that stage. Ideally, you want to get your hands on the Don Jin Jiao. He is the farmable character for this event, and he's actually really, really good. On stage 4, you can come up against either Usopp, Law, or Zoro. I have included all three, so I will sort of fade into those and then come back to this, um when uh, we finish on the Usopp stage, but Usopp has five turns of resilience. He gives you two turns of despair, and he gives you a full water unfavorable orbs, I'm pretty sure. What you want to do here is use your Moria special first, and then you can remove the despair with stuff like um, Hody. You can use the Caesar to get poison, and then you can get a chain buff and remove the chain lock. That's another thing that, that Usopp does with our Enel special and that way we can actually take out this stage make sure to use the moria special first that way you get the color affinity carryover i'm going to slide into the law now all right so moving on to law now law is a dex unit he gives us five turns of paralysis and special binds our bottom row with the support of vanderdeck and we can get around the rest of the special bind and dofi as our captain removes 10 turns as well you want to make sure you use your moria special first on this stage and then use the don jinjia special that way you actually get the carryover of the color affinity buff thanks to moria which is great and then you can just like use your super typing here if you like if you really want to. But as you can see with this particular stage, we have a lot of damage thanks to Moria's orb boost, and we can just take out Law. Let's move on to Zoro now. All right, so moving on to Zoro, Zoro turns into a strength unit. He gives us bind on our left hand side, and he special binds our right hand side. We can remove the bind thanks to Vanderdecken, and then we can get around the special bind uh, thanks to Vanderdecken as well. But we can also remove the rest of the special bind thanks to Don Jin Jao himself. Just make sure that Don Jin Jao is on the right-hand side. That's very important. And as always, you want to try and make sure that you can get the uh, Moria special before Don Jin Jao. Unfortunately, for this particular run, and this particular setup against Zoro, you actually can't, which is a bit of a shame. So we do need to use the Don Jin Jao special first. He can rotate the block obs, remove the paralysis, uh, and remove special bind as well. We can then use Moria for an orb boost on this particular stage. And then we have a chain boost as well, which is really, really nice. That way, when we move into the next stage, uh, we can still use our um, Hody special to give ourselves color affinity instead of getting the carryover from Moria. And it all works very, very nicely. All right, so when we move into the final stage, we come up against Luffy. And normally, you'll have the Magellan... Oh, the, sorry, not Magellan. The Moria carryover of color affinity. But if you get Zoro, you have to use the Hody special to get the color affinity. But it's not a big deal. You get a full bottle block orbs here. You can only use two specials. And you get the attack down uh, limit depending on your chain multiplier. That's the big reason why we have both Enor and Don Jin Jiao here. They can give us a chain buff. And then with the special of Dofi, we can give ourselves an attack buff, an orb buff, and a full border orbs through the block orbs. It all works very nicely. It's very, very smooth. And it takes out Luffy. No issues whatsoever. So that was free-to-play friendly subs. You do need more as your captain and a friend, Dofi, but free-to-play subs and free-to-play supports is always nice. Let's move on to that big old Quaylen team now. All right, so moving on to the big old Quaylen team, it looks a little bit like this. We're running double Dofi with Katakuri on the team and the new batch, including the new Donjin Jao himself. So that was the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive in. Now, the supports, they're really not essential, to be honest. Like, they're not essential at all, but it gives you guys an idea of, like, what supports are very good for this particular piece of content. Uh, and it does help out a little bit, but it's not that amazing. Now, Katakuri is completely replaceable in this particular team. Like, I've literally just got him here because he's a point booster. You can easily run something like the Enel. You can easily something run like something like Magellan. Uh, he just makes stage three very, very easy. And he, and he gives me a lot of points. So, like I said, like, this particular team was designed for it. I, I sort of just wanted to showcase the three stages 
and uh, just show like how this particular team functions with getting around it. So on stage 3 against Frankie, we can use Katakuri. Katakuri gives powerhouse uh, characters an orb buff and a base stat boost. Even with a full board of unfavorable orbs, Dofi makes one on matching on Hody, and you can just clear that stage, no issues. Moving on to stage 4, you get either Usopp, Law, or Zoro. Against Usopp, you get 5 turns of Chain Lock, 2 turns of Despair, and he puts up 5 turns of Resilience. With our super typing of Dofi, we can get our special charge back for our driven characters because he also rolls our special back by one turn. Then we can remove the Despair and the Chain Lock with Caesar, which is great. And then we can use Dofi, uh, sorry, Hody to give ourselves an attack boost. With Caesar, he also gives poison, so that way we can get around the resilience. And Usopp is just going to absolutely melt. Let's move on to Law now. Alright, so for Law, Law will give us five turns of paralysis, a full board of block orbs. And he gives a special bind. But thanks to the double Dofi strat, we don't have to worry about special bind at all. And it just works very, very nicely. On this stage, we're basically just going to pop our Caesar special, our um, Don Jin Jiao special, as well as our... Um, what's his name? Hody special. And that way, we just give ourselves an attack boost. We give ourselves a chain buff. Uh, but with the special of Don Jin Jiao, we are going to get the carryover effect of the uh, chain buff. So you don't really need to use Don Jin Jiao here. But it just helps to take him out nice and easy. And finally, with Zoro, Zoro is also going to give us special bind, as well as bind our left-hand side, and give us a full board of block orbs once again. But thanks to having Dofi as our captain, we can get around the special bind. The Vanderdecken support can remove the bind, which is really nice, because we also get our specials roll back by one turn. We also get extra damage as well. Because Dofi doesn't roll back powerhouse characters, especially he only ro rotates back uh, driven character specials, we don't actually get the um, Don Jin Jiao special ready to go, so we can't remove the bind. So Vanderdecken's really, really important on the Hody character here. Um, I think Hody actually removes bind himself, so you could just like put Hody on the right hand side where Katakuri is, I guess. Like that, like that, that'll work fine as well. But having that um, Vanderdecken support just means that like you can just guarantee yourself to get around it. So that support's so good; it's a free to play support as well. So definitely farm that up. Um, you basically just need the two Dofi specials on the final stage with this particular team, and it all works very hunky dory. So once we hit the final stage against the big dog tank man Luffy, we're basically just going to pop our two Dofi specials and then we're just like good to go. He gives us a full board of block orbs. He gives us the chain code, like your attack down depending on what like your chain multiplier is. Um, so that's why having the chain lock from C's is really nice. But just having that 1.4 chain buff that Dofi provides is just so good. As well as getting that base stat boost as well. We have 2.25 attack, 2.25 orbs, base stat boost and a chain boost with that chain lock. We're already sitting at a 4.4 chain multiplier, like a 4.3, sorry. And it all works just incredibly well. So that was the big Quaylen team. It gives us a lot of points, like a lot of points, which is really, really nice. Um, so if you have the new units, if you did some summons, that's sort of how you need to run it. But if you didn't, refer to that free-to-play team because that team will also work very well as well. So that's going to wrap up the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there and belt the like button for me. If you are new to the channel too, hit that big red subscribe button. But guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's!